Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Aaron Cook, one half of One Life Productions. Jerome in the background on the camera. What's yes up, sir, the other half of One Life Productions. How y'all doing? Yeah man, we're just going to bring you guys a brief tutorial on how to link up your FPC pads um, with the inserts and your mixer on free loops. As you know, the FPC, or for, if you don't know, the FPC controls your modules. Uh, whether that module be an MPD24 or 32 or uh, whatever Korg, MP, whatever you, whatever you have, um, the FPC can be used to link Fruity Loops up or to put your chops and stuff in or drums or whatever you, you want to use, whatever instruments you're using. And um, the FPC itself has a mixer, but the Fruity Loops mixer has, you know, you use your Fruity Loops mixer and you can put, you know, whatever plugins and stuff or reverbs and things of that nature on there all the stuff you want so <clears throat> I'm gonna just bring you a brief tutorial today on how to link up your FPC pads with the inserts in the mixer now if you look now every button I'm pressing on the FP I mean on my MPD is showing up in your master and insert one if you look over here in the FPC window, you have the number one. When I bring that back down to zero, it puts everything in your master only. And you can split each button up in your FPC by doing this. I'm sorry. You go to your mixer and the FPC, and you put numbers over top of the mixers corresponding to which insert you want to link it up with in the mixer. So I have it on one here, and I put my first button showing up in my first insert on my mixer. Now when I hit the rest of my buttons, it's still showing up in the master. All you do is just like the first one, as opposed to going one over, you don't want to put it in one over, because if you put it in one over, going to show up in the first insert. So basically these numbers are just what inserts you want them to link up with in the mixer. I want this to make to link up with the insert 2 in my mixer. So I put the 2 over top of it now. That sound is in insert 2. Now we just go on same way. I want this to want to link up with insert 3. Insert 3 is coming on. Insert 4. Put 4 over top. Now we have everything split up in different inserts. So you can go in and change sounds or change levels or reverb, you know, things of that nature, whatever you want to do. And this also works with drums. It all works the same way. Whatever sound you have in the FPC, I mean the MPD, I'm sorry, whatever sound you have in your MPD pads, you can link up with the mixer. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's really just that simple. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe and all of that. Like I said, if you have questions, hit us up in our comments or inbox or whatever, and we'll try to get back to you ASAP. We're just going to be bringing you a few couple, a couple of short videos on how to do little things in, um, in Fruity Loops. We're learning the MPD and how to use the FPC and things of that nature in Fruity Loops now. That's new to us, so everything we run across, we're going to bring you short brief tu video tutorials on how to do things as we learn so I hope this uh, video was very informational and, and helped you out helped you guys out or answered your questions you know what I'm saying just hit us up leave us a comment rate subscribe and as always you guys be blessed in the name of the Lord and Savior our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. Um, it's one life because it's one Christ that's right and it is what it is y'all be blessed peace out